In this video, we'll show you how to install Harley-Davidson Audio powered by Rockford Fosgate. Welcome back, I'm Eric with Rockford Fosgate. And today we're gonna to show you how to install our new Stage 1, Stage 2, or Stage 3 saddlebag speakers on a 2024 Harley-Davidson Road Glide. Now this process is identical for the 2024 Street Glide. Please note, this video covers the installation of saddlebag speakers. The primary audio amplifier kit, part number 76001294, is required when upgrading or adding any speakers. This is covered in a separate installation video. During the installation process, we'll refer you to the product eye sheets and the Harley-Davidson service and repair manual. We include a paper copy of the product eye sheet with your kit. Now, if you do not have a service manual, it can be purchased through your local Harley-Davidson dealership and available to be ordered online at harleydavidson.com. To help guide you through this installation, you'll see these icons appear in the lower part of your screen. The first icon will refer to the Harley-Davidson service and repair manual for your make and model. The second icon is for your product eye sheet, illustrating the detailed installation process and the tools needed. Now, to get started, we want to remove the main fuse to prevent the motorcycle from accidentally starting. First, make sure to disable the security system on motorcycles that are equipped. We'll remove the clutch side saddlebag and service cover to access the main fuse. Once that's done, you can remove the brake side saddlebag as well. Now we're ready to remove our saddlebag lids. Start by removing four screws holding the fabric and two screws holding the metal hinge assembly together on each side. Put this hardware aside for now as we'll need it to reinstall our saddlebag lids. Once you're done, repeat the process on the other side. Now we're ready to prep for our internal harness panel. Start with the brake side saddlebag. Use masking tape to protect the paint where our panel will be installed. Overlay the template over the rubber grommet and follow the contours of the saddlebag and fold the template over the bottom. Make sure that the template is flat and secure it with masking tape to hold it in place. Next, use a center punch to mark sections A and B. Remove the template and use a quarter inch drill bit for the six perimeter holes in section A and a two and three quarter inch hole saw for the two holes in section B. Before you remove the masking tape, lightly sand or use a deburr tool to clean the holes. Once you're done, repeat the process on the other side. Now remember to reverse the drilling template on the other saddlebag. Now we're ready to install our internal harness panel. Refer to your eye sheet for alignment, noting there are specific brake and clutch side panels. Align the internal harness panel with the eyelets for the screws. Start by hand threading the six provided screws, then securing them in an alternate pattern to ensure proper seal. Once you're done, repeat the process on the other side.
Now that we have the internal panel secured in place, let's route the wiring used to connect the speakers. Refer to the eye sheet for recommended placement of the provided cable straps and zip ties. Once you're done, cut the zip ties and repeat the process on the other saddlebag. Now we're ready to install the new saddlebag speaker cover kit. To get started, we'll need to first transfer the hardware from our existing saddlebags over to our new speaker covers. Refer to your eye sheet and begin removing the hinge and latch assembly. When you're ready to remove the speed clips, use the pick tool to pull up on the inner ring and slide the clip off. To begin installation of the hardware, again, refer to your eye sheet. Be sure to insert the new hex lever screw into the latch assembly before placing the assembly inside the cover. When installing the cover gasket, peel off and install sections at a time without stretching the gasket. This is especially important not to stretch the gasket in the corners. When you're ready, repeat the process on the other side. Now that you're done with that, reinstall the covers on the saddlebag, noting proper orientation of the fabric hinge. Now we're ready to install the external audio harness. This harness allows us to tie into the motorcycle audio for addition of the rear speakers. To get started, remove the seat from the motorcycle and locate the main 12-pin harness and disconnect it so our saddlebag speaker harness can tap into it. Route the long harness on the right brake side and the short harness on the left clutch side, routing them between the frame and the fender. Using your tweezers or pick tool, slightly pull up on the socket panel to unlock it. Then insert your D-pin tool to remove the blank terminal plugs from cavities 5, 6, 7, and 8.
Once you're done with that, reference the product eye sheet for the pin diagram. Carefully align and insert each new harness pin until it clicks into place. Once you're done, push the socket panel back into place to lock it. Now that we have the harness installed, we'll finish routing them and clean up our wiring. Route the harness along the wheel well and attach it to the three anchor points using zip ties. Once you're done, Repeat the process on the other side. Now we'll reinstall the seat, then reattach the saddlebags back on the motorcycle. Once the saddlebag is positioned, attach the new harness until it clicks into place. Now let's look at the differences between our stages. The installation process is identical regardless if you're installing Stage 1, Stage 2, or Stage 3 speakers. All of them install exactly the same way in the saddlebags. In the kit, you'll find the necessary hardware for installation, along with replacement warning stickers. Start by checking the speaker orientation and use four long screws with the T20 Torx to secure the speaker in an alternating pattern. Once you're done with that, insert the four rubber bumpers into the grill bosses and attach the grill. While holding the grill on the outside, secure four shorter screws with a T20 Torx and secure them in an alternating pattern. Finally, make your wiring connections, noting proper positive and negative polarity. Once you're done, repeat the process on the other side. Now we're ready to reinstall our main fuse. Loosen the clutch side saddlebag and reinstall the fuse and service cover. To prevent any possible damage, make sure that your motorcycle is in the off position before proceeding. Now we're ready to configure the amplifier to recognize your speakers through the IFCU or infotainment control unit. 
Once again, the steps that we're showing you are on a road glide, but they're identical when you do this on a street glide. With your motorcycle in accessory mode, press the gear icon, then select sound settings. Scroll down to speaker setup. Once the dialog appears, click yes to continue. Press speaker configuration, then select the appropriate stage where each speaker is located. Be sure to only select the speaker stage that you've installed. Once you're done, press start test. When you're ready to begin, press OK. The IFCU will walk you through selecting the appropriate speaker that's generating audible pink noise. To complete the setup, press stop noise and turn the power off for 60 seconds. Once rebooted, you can confirm your configuration by pressing speaker status. You can also confirm using the balance, fader, and volume controls. As you can see, that install was very straightforward. Now, if you have questions or prefer a professional do the installation, please don't hesitate to contact your local Harley-Davidson dealership. Until next time, I'm Eric, and we'll see you again soon.